Pulsar 135 LS is a bike meant for those who can't spend too much and yet want something zippy that cuts through the traffic as the model's tagline goes. So a traffic cutter needs to be exhilarating too, right? And that the new Pulsar achieves quite well. So it's fun, yet it's not a sports bike because on those skinny tyres there is only so much you can achieve. What I did like though was the energetic character of the engine which even sounds like the adolescent version of the slightly more deep-throated, bigger pulsers. And that means very simply that Bajaj is targeting guys under 30 with this one, at least for the most part. Now, you know, folks, the very first pulser that I ever got onto, that was a good 7-8 years ago, it was the Pulsar 180. And at the time, I remember thinking that this bike has so much ease of use. It was really a very easy-to-ride bike, even for the first time. And that's a good characteristic that the 135 maintains even today. The bike is also comfortable since it's got gas-charged nitrous shock absorbers at the rear and 240mm disc brakes in the front. In this day and age of cost-cutting and recession, if uh, Batman were to go into his bat cave and decide that, you know what, I need to spend a little bit less money on my bike, well, you know, his bike might actually look like this. You might think I'm paying it a huge compliment, but look at the way the styling has been done. It looks like the back bike in many ways. Fantastic use of uh, angles here in the front as far as the face goes. And I think that's the part that sets this Pulsar apart. You know it's a Pulsar and yet there's enough distinction here to tell you that there's something new going on. And I think I like that. I like the fact that they've played around with that sort of styling. It's a similar sort of feel you get from the fuel tank as well, but uh, of course, this one is all black. It gives you a different impression. Let's take a look at the one that's been done in red, shall we? Because uh, with that, you try and get a better idea of the kind of lines and angles that I'm talking about. So take a look at the way this has been done. There are air scoops now here in the front. The way that the bike's fuel tank curves inwards, it is a comfortable stance, comfortable posture for the overall uh, sitting stance. Besides that, you of course got uh, the typical Bajaj look as far as the... Uh, overall cluster is concerned, yet there is something new and distinct here uh, that uh, is perhaps new enough for the 135 to look a little different. The clip-on handlebars, of course, is again a signature and at the back, you've got the similar sort of styling, but here's the part that I like. The fact that, look at this, look at the room here, the, even the number plate has been fixed on top, it's not fixed onto the uh, mudguard and the matte black finish, well, that always, I think, is something that's going to grab attention, looks different looks fairly nice and so gives the overall look of the bike definitely a lot more of a sporty character. One little thing I want to quickly point out is also the shape and the build of the tail light, uh, the uh, indicators, excuse me, and also the ones in the front. Very different and very sharp. The point I'm trying to make really by going on and on about it is that the bike's looks are edgy and they definitely grab attention. It's the similar type of feel you get from the fuel tank. Look closely and you will recognize the indicators from the Exceed. Oh well, they do look nicer here than they did there. The new 135 is only available in two colors that we are showing you. And that red one is eye-catching too. In fact, unlike most pulsers sold which are black, in this case, it's the red that just might end up being more popular. So what's the downside besides the few niggling issues we've talked about? Well, for starters, while we may all laud Bajaj's strategy of bringing the price point of the Pulsar family lower, it could backfire too. And then there is the other point. The 150 or even the 180cc Pulsar buyer could come into the showroom and instead opt for the cheaper 135. Well, that won't be too much of a worry for Bajaj since all Pulsars are more or less equally profitable for the company. So, it may not be a sports bike. It may not even be everything the bigger pulsers are, but it sure is a lot more than what even the Discover 135 is, besides the rest of the sub 150cc bikes. And at 51,000 rupees ex showroom Delhi, it is looking fairly attractive too. Tell me what you think at ndtv.com/siddharth.